Kosher My Bow. Um, hope that everybody's staying safe and healthy. Um, for any weirdy Miss Sloan, so my name's Miss Sloan, and today I'm going to show you a few games that you can make in the house and you can play in the house um, with your brothers, your sisters, your parents, your carers, whoever's at home with you. And all of these games are going to help you to improve your Welsh language skills. So the first game that I'm going to show you how to make and how to play is Pass the Parcel, okay? So everyone's favourite, we play it at parties, it's good fun. So what you need to do this is some coloured pens, okay? Coloured pens and pencils, um, some paper, card, whichever, doesn't really matter, okay? Um, some newspaper or some coloured tissue paper, anything that you can find handy. Um, some scissors and some sellotape. And if you really want to make it a bit of fun, okay, some sweets. Right, so first of all, what we're going to do is we are going to make a sheet, okay? And this sheet is going to contain the vocabulary that we're going to use. So all the new words that we're going to practice and that we want to learn, we're going to put on this sheet of paper. So here's one that I've already made. As you can see, we've got some colours. Okay, so here we are in okay? So we've got some colours. We've got some numbers, some rive, okay? And we've got some speech bubbles with some little statements in, okay? So this is gonna be our focus, the focus of our game, okay? So I'm sure that some of you in schools have been learning um, colours. So we've done the colours of the rainbow. Some of you will know how to count to 10. Some of you will know how to count higher, okay? So we're just gonna practise these skills. So I have got Lots of different coloured blobs. I've got all different coloured numbers. And um, the speech bubbles that I've got say things such as good morning, um, good afternoon, um, etc, etc. So you can choose, depending on what you want to practice, um, what you want to put on your sheet, okay? Um, I have sent for the parents. I've sent over some resources as well, okay? So that'll include um, colours, numbers, um, lots of different vocabulary that maybe your child might want to use so you can show them or you can just use those for a bit of a prompt okay um then once you've made this sheet with whatever you want to put on it okay then i would like you to cut them out so cut your shapes out so here are some that i've already got so we've got colors merlin cork a glass okay We've also got some numbers, two, so die, a uh, pedwa, number four, okay? If you wanted to make me push yourselves, you could tell me what colour pedwa is, okay? My pedwa and pink, okay? Pink pedwa. And I've also got a speech bubble which says, good morning, for a da, okay? So then what we're going to do, after we've cut out these, is we're going to make them into a pass the parcel game. So what we need to do is wrap each of these in one layer of newspaper. Okay guys, so um, I just finished making my own parcel here um, and in each of the layers I have included one of these and also a little sweet as well just for a treat if we get it right, okay? So then as you would normally do with pass the parcel, stick on some music, um, preferably music um that's Welsh maybe I don't know hey Mr Earth um something like that you can always YouTube Welsh music okay and have a go have a play with your um brother sisters mum's dad pass it around when the music stops you then open a layer so I'll have a go now just to show you oh hard to get off okay so in my layer I have a little colour blob. So then I would have to say what colour it is. So this is glass, blue, okay? And because I've said that it's glass, then I would get to keep the sweet, okay? And so on. So when you get to the numbers, you will have to say the number out loud, um, and you could also say the colour of the number, and then you would get the sweet, okay? So that's how we would play past the parcel. And um, like I said before, um, you can change the vocabulary that you use depending on your age range so um maybe for you older children what you've been learning in school have your teacher sent you um have they set you any work 
um, that you could maybe go through and have a look at keywords and then write those down and put them inside your parcel. So write them down in English and then maybe when you get to it, you could translate them into Welsh, okay? So there's a few ideas that you can do there. Um, in just a second, I'm going to be back and I am going to be showing you how to play a game of Jenga um, through using your Welsh vocabulary and um, to help you practice what you've been learning in school.